The DIR505 is a portable router that lets you share your connection and your files. It has multiple operating modes, including router, repeater, and Wi-Fi hotspot mode. On the side, there's a WPS button that makes it easy to set up a wireless connection. And on the bottom, there's an Ethernet port which connects to your modem or a wired device, depending on what mode you're using. There's also a USB port for connecting a USB storage drive for quick and easy file sharing. Router mode lets you share a wired internet connection with all of your devices wirelessly. You can connect the DIR505 to your cable or DSL modem, or other wired internet connection. For router mode, move the mode selection switch to the router position. Use the included cable to connect it to your modem or internet connection. Make sure you write down the default Wi-Fi name and password printed on the label. Plug the DIR505 into a power outlet and wait about one minute for the LED to turn green. Use a PC or mobile device and connect to the default wireless network you wrote down earlier. Here, our default network was D-Link 1DFF. Enter the default password for the device. Now open a web browser and enter D-Link Router into the address bar. The D-Link Setup Wizard will open. If you've set the 505 up before, you can simply log into the device and choose the Setup Wizard from the first page. Here, set your device mode. We're setting this up as a router, so tap Next. The DIR505 will detect what kind of internet connection you have. Here, enter a new name for your wireless network. Now, enter a password for your wireless network. Here, enter a password for your DIR505. This is different than your wireless password, as this password is used only when configuring your device. Use the drop-down box to select your time zone. Setup is now complete. Click Save and the router will reboot. Wait until the LED on the DIR505 turns green again. Now, you can connect to the wireless network you just set up. You can now connect to the internet with your device. Repeater mode extends the range of an existing wireless network and is useful for extending your wireless coverage to rooms with poor signal. It also lets you connect a wire device to the DIR505 to allow it to connect to your network wirelessly. For repeater mode, move the mode selection switch to the middle position. Plug the DIR505 into a power outlet and wait about one minute for the LED to turn green. Press and hold the WPS button on the side of the device for six seconds. The LED on the front should start to flash. Within one minute, press the WPS button on your router. Your DIR505 will be automatically configured and will extend the range of your wireless network. It will use the same Wi-Fi name and password as your current network. Optionally, you can connect a wired device to the DIR505 to connect it to your network wirelessly. 
Wi-Fi hotspot mode lets you share a wireless internet connection, such as from a Wi-Fi hotspot. This can be useful for sharing a single paid hotspot connection with all of your devices. It also lets you connect a wired device to the DIR505 to allow it to connect to your network wirelessly. For Wi-Fi hotspot mode, move the switch to the bottom position. Make sure you write down the default Wi-Fi name and password printed on the back. Plug in the DIR505 and wait about one minute for the LED to turn green. Use a PC or mobile device and connect to the default wireless network you wrote down earlier. Here, our default network was D-Link 1DFF. Enter the default password for the device. Open the web browser and enter D-Link Router into the address bar. The D-Link Setup Wizard will open. If you've set this up before, you can simply log into the device and choose the Setup Wizard from the first page. Tap the Next button. The DIR505 will now scan for available wireless networks. Choose a wireless network to connect to then click on the connect button at the bottom. You can choose to use the same wireless network name and password, or you can create your own. Here, we'll uncheck this box and create our own private wireless network. Here, enter the name you want to use for your wireless network. Then enter the password you want to use for your wireless network. Setup is now complete. Here you can see the name of the wireless network the DIR505 will connect to, and the private wireless network name and password you just created. Click Save and the router will reboot. Wait until the LED on the DIR505 turns green again. Now, connect to the wireless network you just set up. You can now connect to the internet with your device. Optionally, you can connect a wired device to connect it to your network wirelessly. To use SharePort Mobile, make sure the DIR505 is in router mode or Wi-Fi hotspot mode. On the bottom, Connect a USB storage drive that you want to share with SharePort Mobile. Plug the DIR505 into a wall outlet. If you don't have it already, download the free SharePort Mobile app from the App Store or from Google Play. Also, make sure that you're connected to the DIR505's wireless network. Open the SharePort mobile app. The first time you use it, you will need to enter your DIR505's password. Remember, this is the password for the DIR505 and not for your wireless network. Tap the edit button at the top right and enter your DIR505's password. When you are finished, tap Done. Now you can use the SharePort mobile app. The file section shows you all the documents stored on your USB drive. This includes things like PDF files and Office documents. Tap on the file to open it.
The Photos section shows you all the photos and images stored on your USB drive. Just tap on the photo to view it. You can swipe to change photos. You can also delete files by swiping across them, then tapping the Delete button. You can also use the Edit button at the top right. The Movie section shows you all the video files stored on your drive. Tapping the file will play it. You can use the controls at the bottom to control playback. And there's a full screen button to the right. Tap the screen again to bring your controls back. The music section shows you all the music files stored on your USB drive. Just select a file to play it immediately. You can use the controls at the bottom to control playback. The folder section shows you all the contents of your USB drive in a more standard explorer view. Tapping on the Uploads button allows you to upload files from your mobile device to the current folder. Just tap on the plus button at the top right, then select the files that you want to upload, then tap Done. Your files will be uploaded from your mobile device. Tap Refresh, and you can see that your file is now on your USB drive. The Favorites section allows you to save files to your mobile device for offline access. Here, we'll go choose a song and tap the star icon to mark it as a favorite. Now, in the Favorites section, you can see that it's being downloaded to the mobile device. After the download is finished, just tap on the file to play it. If you want to remove the file from your favorites, tap on the star at the bottom. 